Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about tag plugins in Hexo. Now, tag plugins are basically just little pieces of code, little snippets of code that you can add into your markdown files that let you add specific pieces of content into them without having to write any complex or messy HTML. So a lot of times if you want to add little special elements into your markdown pages, you normally would have to use HTML. And if you're someone that doesn't want to use HTML or maybe you don't know how or maybe you just don't want to mess up your markdown files, it's not really an option. So tag plugins are just, like I said, little snippets of code that you put inside of your markdown files and they will render more complex pieces of content. Oh, I'm over here on the Hexo docs and I'm over here on this tags plugin page. And this basically just lists out all of the tag plugins that we can use. So I'm just scrolling through and kind of looking at a bunch of these different tag plugins. And this one is actually pretty interesting. It's the code block tag plugin. So if you're, if you're writing like a blog and maybe you want to have some code examples, you can use this code block tag plugin in order to easily add and stylize code into your blog. The way that we add code is by um, using a, the tag plugin. And the way that you add a tag plugin into your site is by typing out uh, an open and close curly bracket and then it's going to be two percent signs and then inside of these percent signs we want to type the name of the tag plugin in our case it's just going to be code block just like that and there's really two types of code blocks there's single tag code blocks and if you're using a single tag code block all you need is one tag but if you're using a double tagged code block then you're going to need an ending tag and we can write our ending tag by just typing end and then the name of the code block just like that now, inside of this code block, I can put any text that I want to render as code. So why don't we just put some like JavaScript text? We can just say alert and we will alert hello world. Whoops. And then maybe we can just to show you, like we'll make a var, my var. Hello world. So this is, you know, really, really basic JavaScript. But when I go over to my Hexo website, I'm going to refresh the page and you'll notice that this piece, the, that the text inside of these code blocks got rendered as code. And so it's rendered in a stylized fashion, right? So all I had to do was just include these code blocks, these tag plugins right here. And then all of the text inside of it automatically got rendered. Normally, if you'd want to add in code like this, you'd have to use HTML and you'd have to use CSS. But all we have to do is just insert this tag plugin into our file and it automatically works. We can actually take this a step further too. So with tag plugins, instead of, in, in addition to just using their name and calling them like that, you can also pass them different parameters. So you can pass in a specific value to the tag plugin and it can use that value to change the way that the content gets rendered. In my case, I can use this lang attribute and then I'm just gonna type out the name of the programming language that I'm using and now Hexo is going to use that information and it's going to stylize the code that's inside of here. So it's going to pretty print it. So the text that's inside of these parentheses is a different color. This variable keyword is a different color. And a lot of these tag plugins will take either required or optional parameters, which can increase the power or just increase or improve the way that the um, tag plugin uh, looks and renders the content. There's a, a couple other tag plugins that we can look at and I'm just scrolling down here and you can kind of see that there's a lot of different things we can do. You can add in like a JS fiddle or a gist or an iframe and a lot of these things would require us to write HTML but now we don't have to. So you can add an image, link, you can include code. You can also include media into your website. So a lot of people might want to include, for example, an image into their website. And to do that, you can use this YouTube um, tag plugin. And the way that we do the YouTube one is similar to the code block one. So it's just double curly brackets, percent signs, YouTube. And now we're going to pass this a parameter, which is going to be a um, YouTube ID. And I just have this one right here that I grabbed before the lesson. So all I have to do to add a YouTube video into my site is just include this piece of code. And now the YouTube video will automatically get rendered. And this is just a funny video about cats because we're on the internet. So 
obviously you can look through and you can poke through all of these different tag plugins and you can kind of figure out which ones that you want to use in your website. But this has just been a very broad overview and an introduction into what tag plugins are and how you can use them on your content files. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.